Hello everybody and welcome to what is going to be a very busy day on Court Farms. Now we've got the man truck running here and on the back of there we've got the Flegel animal trailer. This can actually take chickens, cows and pigs. So obviously not at the same time but they can take all three. Now our cows are just down here, we're going to sell them all today, the cows, the pigs and the chickens. Um, and they are pretty much all there, they're not far off. There'll probably be about two left or something and by the time we get to them I should think they'll all be ready. So to begin with we're going to start with the chickens so we're going to head down there and I think this trailer can take about 150 chickens and we have somewhere around there. Um, they are ready, the chickens I think, all of them. So we'll just go over there, we'll get them loaded up and we'll get them sold. Now this did actually cost £7,000 and that was rented. So with a bit of luck we'll be able to make that money back at least. And uh, yeah, anything on top is obviously a bonus, but the idea is to make a profit. So if you are wondering why we have got a bit of lag, I think it is this lorry, to be honest. I don't like pointing fingers, but I had the same one on Thistle Farm as a number of you did point out last week. Um, and it's doing the same thing again. So, although it could just be pure coincidence, um, it does seem to be that when, it, when I bought this, it started to lag. So, uh, just kind of put it down to the lorry, but I can't be 100% sure. But here we are. Let's get these gates open. Now you can actually get this trailer in three different sizes. This obviously is the biggest, the one which fits to the truck. Uh, there are two other sizes as well. We have used one before. So let's just wash it down so there's no contamination. There we go. Okay, so we should be safe to enter. Basically what we've got to do is just reverse up to the gate. We will open the gate first though. Oh, we've got some manure here. We'll have to use that at some point. And then basically just uh, press Q I think when we get to it and it should load. We will put the cover over. Mustn't forget to put the back door down, the ramp, because they do automatically load. There they go. They're kind of going underneath it, but they are still loading. Here they are. We will put the cover over. Oh, they do make a bit of a row when they're going in. Actually, I don't blame them. So this might take a while. We have about 150 to go into here. We're only at 31 so I will just wait for them all to get into the trailer and then uh, yeah we'll move on. It's actually very good of them isn't it for them to just walk into the trailer and get into a crate. They're very well behaved. And there we go. 140 chickens in our trailer. The poor things have got to go and be slaughtered, but it's going to provide us with quite a bit of money with a bit of luck. I don't know how much they're worth, so this is going to be uh, a shock or maybe even a surprise. Hopefully a surprise. Anyway, let's take this thing out of here. I don't know if you use your disinfectant when you leave as well, or if it's just when you're entering. You'd have thought it's when you leave because you've got to wash off any bacteria or infections there is in the area but I think we'll give it a quick rinse just to be safe especially as we have got to do cows next I suppose what you would do is wash it between each type of animal so uh, yeah, we'll get the gate shut this is high security give it a quick rinse 
There we go. Good. So, uh, all we have to do now is go and sell these. Now, before, I was a bit confused as to where you actually take them to. But I do now know. So, we should be able to do it all in one go. A nice steady ride for them. And this is where we're taking them to. It is quite a tight turning. But we should still be able to do it. There we go. Apologies about the lag. So, around the back here is where I took them to last time. Should be the same again. We have got sheep, cows, and pigs. But. If you put them into this trigger box here, it does actually sell them. So let's put the ramp down. And I don't know if you'd usually take the top cover off. You probably wouldn't do. Oh, it does it automatically anyway. Here they go. One by one out of their crates. So how much are we getting? Oh, pretty much £100 per chicken. That's not too bad. It is 99 but we'll round it up. 13860 to be precise. But that doesn't sound too bad to me. We can welcome that extra money. And there we go. Sometime later and they're sold. So, didn't realise there was a beacon on there actually. On the back. Yeah, anyway, so let's go to our next type of animal, which is going to be the cows. And they, I think they all come here actually. And then after that we'll do the pigs. Now there aren't as many of the cows or the pigs. I think there's probably 50 or 60. I can't remember how many I bought exactly. Uh, but obviously not as much. However, that's a good thing because they're worth more and also you can't fit as many into this trailer so it would mean doing more trips so uh, I'm not sure if we'll get them all in or not we'll just have to sort of play it by ear and see but let's head over to our main yard to pick up the cows Okay, so here we are. I have just checked both sides of the shed to see which side you fill it up from. And the only side which works is this side here. The tyre tracks are a bit of a giveaway. But this is the gate you have to load them into the trailer from. Or through. I'll just turn around here. And obviously we have to get the ramp down and open the gate. I think the thing is with this... As soon as you cross the line into the trigger, it will automatically load the trailer, whether you've got the ramp down or not, so you've got to be a bit careful. I will put the ramp down. And I assume, yep, there it goes. They are loading once again. So yeah, I don't know how many it's going to fit into this trailer, it does tell you, but we're just going to see if we can fill it for a start. This crowd doesn't go into a crate, they just sort of cram themselves in there, the poor things. Looks like it might be about 35 to 40. 36. Well, that's okay. It means we might have to do a second load though. So, uh, yeah. This is going to be, hopefully, a more expensive load. Have to make sure we shut the gate. 
You would have thought they'd be more expensive than a chicken. I think £100 for a chicken is fantastic money. So let's go. I wouldn't usually travel with the beacons on with just a lorry and a trailer, but as it's on the back there, it seems a shame not to put it on. Here we are again. So I think this must be the auction house, I think it is. They should unload themselves, and I would have thought they would appear in one of these designated areas. Most likely in the cow area. And again, this will take a while to sell, but here we go. How much can we get per cow? Well, it looks like a lot, it doesn't seem to be telling me. But yeah, it's going up by quite a bit each time. What is it, about 300 pounds? Maybe more? They seem to vary. But I'm still liking the look of that money, it seems to be going up quite well. And then, it's just the pigs after this. See how much we can get for them. Oh, there we go. It's just doing it like a bulk bulk load at the end. We got seventeen thousand something. Was it three eighty? So not too bad. Quite happy with that, really. We still have more to come. Now this time, our pigs are actually a long way away, they're over at, over at Ladybank Farm, which is right at the top of the map, so I haven't really spent much time there, I'm going to have to just work out where you load them up from, it should be fairly obvious, but it might take a minute, you know I'm slow, <laughs> sometimes it takes me a while just to notice where you load things up from. I did get the question recently, saying, when are you going to stop doing quarter farms? Well, it is kind of on my mind now. We are going to be finishing quarter farms very soon. I've actually been doing this since, I think, November. I was amazed when I looked to see when, I looked to see when my first episode was. Couldn't believe it was so long ago. So I think we are due for a map change. Wow. I am not going to get through there. be better if we were coming in from a different angle here. Yeah, um, map change. I'm not quite sure when to do it. There are obviously two maps which I really want to do. One of them is obviously the West Coast by Bullet Bill, but I'm not sure when that's coming out. And the other one, which has really caught my eye, is the one from Tom X55, the same creator of uh, Melbury Estate and Woodside Farm. Because that map looks really good as well. Okay, here we go. This is the one that opens. So yeah, I think we'll just have to wait and see when they're going to be out. They're both work in progress. They're both on the way. But they're both uh, fantastic looking maps. I can't wait for them. Yeah, this is a bad angle. Should be alright. So, let's get that ramp down. And they're going in. Oh, they, they grow in size each time. Aren't they clever? 
Oh, that one was really small. Thirty six again, I think. Or thirty four. These pigs must be fat. We'll definitely have to do another load of the pigs today. But the cows, I think we'll leave until next time. Now next time, I think what we'll probably be doing is some wood chips. Because I haven't done anything at all to do with forestry. Now I know it does tend to be very painful to watch when I'm doing forestry. However, I've kind of seen another, it's like a modified version of the, the wood chipper which you get in the base game. Um, and it's just a bigger working area basically so it's harder to mess up uh, which sounds good which is uh, my cup of tea really so I'm gonna give it a go we'll just have a tractor with the shredder and a trailer and then me with a chainsaw and a telehandler that should be easier to use than the scorpion king and stuff like that so I want to give it a go obviously if it's a total failure then we'll never do it again we'll just look at it that way now I reckon that we will get more money for the pigs than we did for the cows. Even though there's less of them. They just seem somehow higher value. Here he goes. Ah, here we go. It's updating each one. £300 each. So, is that the same price as the cows? It sounds very similar. I don't know, but it, we're certainly increasing in money quite impressively. Let's go and get the next load. The JCB fast track we own is actually faster than this lorry, which seems really peculiar because these lorries should be able to do up to 60. It just seems really slow for some reason. I suppose I have sort of neglected this area. We could have done more with it. We've got two silage pits there. Should have done something. So let's load up the next 34. In fact, that should be the final, final 34. Yeah, 32 are left. So we'll just do 32 and then that'll be today's selling done can you actually see them disappearing no I don't think so happy pigs they sound like babies Well there we go, 32. Someone shouldn't really be in the trailer. You're a little small. Is that a model? Like a toy pig? Who brought a toy pig? We'll take it anyway and see if we get any money for it. I wouldn't pay a pound for it. I'll shut the gate, otherwise they'll all be out. And that is it for 
the pigs today. It looks like the sheep wool is also full as well. The priority today though is just to sell these. And here we go again, the final load today. Once again, £300 per pig. It's like lots of sausages in a trailer. Sorry, some of you might not like it when I, when I call them sausages. If you're a vegetarian. But yeah, they actually do look like sausages. Okay, enough of that. So, yeah, almost done. Three left. There. Which means we finished off today with £54,008. I think we had about 2,000 when we started, so we've we've pretty much made about 51, 52,000 pounds today. Not too bad, really. Uh, oh, down goes the ramp again. But yeah, obviously uh, it would be nice to have a bit more. But we are finishing the map soon, so it doesn't matter too much. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. It was something a bit different to usual, anyway today, because uh, I usually do either drilling, harvesting, something like that. Uh, so selling the animals is a bit new. So thanks for watching and please do join me again tomorrow for the next episode. Thanks again and bye for now.